Morning, everyone. Bill Hurtado with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. It's my pleasure today to show you one of our latest acquisitions here. This is a 2020 model year, Numar Superstar, model 4061. Speaking of that, I do have the digital brochure I'm happy to send to you. Just contact me and I'll get that right out to you. There's a lot to read about this unit. It is very, very nice. So let's talk about it a little bit here. Uh, this particular model has the full body paint exterior in the Chateau color. Very nice looking, good match all the way front to back. We have the uh, uh, M2106 chassis. So this has the 350 Cummins, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, six-speed Allison transmission. It is an absolute joy to drive. This thing is wonderful. I took it out a couple of days ago, and I want it, but I can't get it. So maybe you can, and you'll be very happy. I'd love it if you came down and let me take you for a drive in this thing. I'll put you out there, and you can try it, and you'll agree. This is very easy to drive, great visibility, uh, smooth, powerful. You'll, you'll really like this a lot. So this being a 2020 right here, um, it doesn't come with that big price tag like the brand new ones do. Very fresh with only 26,000 miles on it. So this is something you really ought to consider if you're one of those super seekers. Get it, see how I did that? All right, so super C's are very popular. And I think super C season is upon us right now. So this is something that really I think uh, you would greatly enjoy. So let's talk about this a little bit. Um, we have the cab up here, and I'm gonna point some things out when we get inside, but a very comfortable cab to drive, very heavy duty steering components, brakes, the whole bit. It's got the air ride seats in there that are adjustable. Uh, it's really, really nice. The uh, uh, Beauty of a Class C is having the side access doors for entry. Not everybody wants to be in a diesel pusher that only has a single access point, be it up front or midships. So three ways to get into this thing. This also uh, has the bigger 2,500 square inch windshield up there. So when you're sitting in the cab, you have excellent visibility with 270 degree view. The difference with a Super C over a conventional Class C, and one of the big appeals, is because you're sitting up high enough now that you can see on down the highway over that car in front of you. So in addition to the nice 270 degree view, you can see on down the highway and see what's gonna come up on you sooner than you can with a conventional Class C. So some of the features that are on this particular unit, you do have the side camera package, uh, those are integrated in with the turn signal, show up on the uh, backup monitor inside. And then dual access to your fuel, 50 gallons on each side. The other side also has the def tank right next to it. So either side you can fuel up on this thing. Very nice there. Talk a little bit about the storage bays in this. So as you can see, it's got the nice ozite lining very uh, mildew resistant in case it were to ever get wet. The battery bank right here is on a slide tray and this has the uh, larger capacity eight six volt batteries. Those are wired both in parallel and in series to give you a lot of 12 volt power right there. Over here is the hydraulic unit and that operates the automatic leveling system and also this step. Uh, this step is an HWH hydraulic controlled step that works um, by basically folding up straight into the unit right there and then the body panel comes up and you can see it's a perfect match with the painting and striping and everything else down there. Another smaller compartment. And then over here, this is our outdoor entertainment. Large television out here on the patio. You've got the Bose sound bar. 
in behind this is where your holding tanks are. So those are easy to access for service down the road if it ever needs tank replacement or something along those lines. So uh, really nice setup the way they built this thing right here. Also, those being midships in the unit between this 329 inch wheelbase gives you very good stability on this thing. So you're not heavy on one side or the other or front to back. So very nice the way they did that. You have another AC outlet over here and a couple more USB ports. So you can feed a signal in through those. And it's kind of hard to see, but down there is a little valve for your freshwater tank drain. This carries 150 gallons of fresh water. That's great. You can stay out a long time with that. Got LED docking lights on both sides. Uh, coincidentally, LED lights everywhere on this, inside and out. We all know about the life expectancy of LED over incandescent. So that's a really nice, nice feature to have. The Alcoa aluminum wheels. These are beautiful on this thing. It just dresses up. They, they match any paint scheme, any color. Uh, really nice. I love the Alcoas. A little lighter weight too. Okay, so this large compartment over here, this has a half slide tray that works out this direction. So things that you need on the patio out here are very easily accessible. Two more uh, AC outlets in there. And below all of the uh, components, you'll see the two white boxes. Those are controllers for your two Gerard Nova awnings. That's important because having two of those Gerard awnings, which many of you know, those are the Cadillac of awnings, that gives you full coverage on your patio front to back on this unit. Okay, back here, you have some smaller items, but very long. Those are gonna go fully side to side here. So you can get all the way across with those. And then if you need a little bit more lengthy storage like this, we do have back here in the back, a nice long deep storage this direction as well. Obviously very easy access here. You can see all the shelving that's built up above. Uh, that's one big steel panel right there. So these are really tough and strong. And then your, uh, hitch setup right here. So this has a 20,000 pound tow capacity. Not unusual for Super C's, better than most. Um, there are a couple that are even bigger, but they're much larger units as well. But at 20,000 pounds, you should be able to cover just about anything you wanna do. Now with a unit like this, uh, people may want to have the additional camera system, say on their stacker trailer that they're towing behind this thing. Uh, that's what this little plug right here is gonna be for. So it'll add to your camera system from this unit on back to the trailer back there. And then you got your standard seven way plug with a four way down below it. So you can hook up to anything you need to. All right. So as we work our way over this direction, give me a second. I'm gonna just open all the compartments real quick and then we can just walk along and look at those. Okay, thanks for your patience there. Let's start back here in the back. Over here, you can see the other side of that pass-through storage that I showed you on the passenger side. And then wrapped in plastic still are some replacement tiles, the porcelain tile for the floor. Uh, those are uh, out of the same lot. So if you ever had some event where the tile were to crack or break, then of course that's gonna be uh, the same matching floor right there. Very unusual. I can't think of a time we've ever seen a Numar tile floor crack via stress. 
It's always got to be some catastrophic event that caused that. So remember, on the other side, we had the half slide tray that I mentioned. So on this side, you've got room for some taller storage on this back side of that same slide tray. Okay, so that brings us up to the wet bay. This wet bay right here, very easy to do everything. Let's start from the left and work our way across. So the first thing you see with your A and B over there is part of the self-winterizing system. I'm a big fan of being able to winterize a unit yourself instead of having to bring it into a dealer. It's very easy. Uh, there's all kinds of videos on YouTube here that'll show you how to do it. Um, but once you've done it, you can do this entire unit with probably about two gallons of antifreeze at, you know, they're around five bucks a gallon. Uh, do it yourself in about 20 minutes. So really, really nice there. This does have washer and dryer inside, maybe three gallons. Uh, but that's a fraction of what you're going to spend bringing it into a dealership to have the winterizing done. Also, it gives you the flexibility of winterizing and dewinterizing yourself on the fly for whatever reason. Going into a cold area or middle of winter, you decide you want to take it out somewhere and go use it. Doesn't matter. You're, you're set here. Right below that is the hose reel. That's your city water connection. And of course, that'll come out 25 feet and hook up at the campground. You can see right below the hose itself, the little rubber grommet there where the hose can fit down through. So be it hooked up to sewer, water, doesn't matter. Electric, we'll get to that compartment next. These doors can be closed. Aesthetically, everything looks really nice. Now, moving back across from the top, you do have an outside shower. Uh, so hot and cold running water outside and then a water pump switch, not having to run back inside when you need some water out here. The water filter is not attached right now because we do have it still winterized here, uh, but that's a full water filtration system with a cartridge that goes inside. And then uh, the black valve to the right is your fresh water tank fill. So when you're hooked up to city water, you can flip that valve up and manually fill your 150 gallon tank when it's full, it comes shooting out underneath the unit safely, and then you turn it back to the normal position, you're on your way. To the right of that is your sewage rinse. And of course, that'll spray inside your black tank when you're uh, dumping that, so it cleans everything out really nice. Now, this particular unit does have the, and we're all the way to the right now, the black tank and gray tank electric valves. So not having to reach in, pull something manually, um, really not touching anything with your hands that you don't want to. So you can dump your tanks fast and easy with that right there. All right, now the very last thing is where you connect your sewer hose. And I love what Numar's done here because they've brought that up very high. It's not the lowest point on the unit now. So your sewer hose compartment right here, you bring that hose out, you connect it, you bring that out to your dump station over here, be it at a campground or at your campsite, and use your electric valves. Very easy system overall to use here. So big fan, nice wet bay, very easy to use. Okay, this over here is the Oasis Chinook. This is a wonderful system. So what that does is there's a large vessel of special heat transfer fluid. It's a glycol. And this will give you unlimited hot water and comfort heating throughout the unit. So it's extremely efficient. Has its own diesel fired burner. And even on the coldest of days, it barely uses over a gallon of fuel. So extremely efficient. And then of course you can be powered up by electricity too, if you so desire, via generator or plugged in at the campsite with your 50 amp service. 
One thing that maybe a lot of people don't know about this is um, this is also connected to the engine up front. Now, that's not saying that this has the engine preheat feature, because it does not. The engine preheat feature is an electric plug-in up in the front. But it does have circulatory coolant from the engine coming back here and heating this as long as your engine is running or running down the road. So you don't have to turn this system on to get the uh, benefit of the heated glycol in there. It's essentially free for you at that point. Okay, so moving along, we've got the uh, white box right there is a 2800 watt inverter. Uh, that inverter uh, powers up specific points inside the unit in addition to the microwave oven. So you don't have to turn your generator on to do a lot of things inside, be it, uh, you know, make a cup of coffee, cook something in the microwave, run your CPAP machine back at the bed, those kind of things. Forward of that, you can see we have our 50 amp cord reel. And once again, that grommet down below gives us the ability to uh, slip that in and keep the door closed. So again, I'm a little redundant here, but aesthetically it looks nice when you're at the campground because all these doors can be closed with that cord or that water hose coming out. And I may not have mentioned, both of those are on power retract reels as well. Okay, so there's another small compartment with the same Ozite lining. And then over here, we have the Onan QD8000 diesel generator, QD, quiet diesel. They are amazing. Very, very quiet to operate. Um, very little vibration. You have to maybe turn the TV down just to remind yourself whether or not you turned that generator off earlier because it's that quiet. You just can't hear the thing. Uh, the 8000 is a bit of an upgrade from the 6000 that's standard on this. So now you can power up both of your Penguin 15K BTU air conditioners slash heat pumps and the microwave all simultaneously. So nice feature there. Up here, uh, this is basically just another little storage compartment for you. The important thing I wanna show you is in here. Oh, remember of course, there's our other access to the 50 gallon fuel tank and the def tank down below here. All right, so I mentioned the air ride seats. The air ride seats are amazing. It makes for such a nice, comfortable ride. So this is a nice way to get in the thing because now we have lots of space, spare room right here. Uh, you've got your lumbar supports and then shock absorber control for how much pressure you want on that thing. It's a heated seat as well. So once you get access in here and you start getting yourself ready, you're gonna put some air in this to bring it up to where you wanna be. And it's, of course, fully adjustable with shock differentiation for bumpy roads or something along those lines. So, very nice, easy access. Uh, this was important, I wanted to show you this because it's just a big deal. When you're driving this thing, having those air ride seats is priceless. Okay, we're gonna take a look under the hood. Uh, I've already got the uh, tie downs disconnected right there. So once again, this is the 350 Cummins. This has the uh, six-speed Allison transmission, 1,000 pound-feet of torque. What's beautiful about a Super C here is you've got easy access to everything you want to do, be it your air filter, your coolant level, your uh, fuel vapor separator, um, engine oil access and checking. So very nice air filter on the other side over there. Um, it's just great to be able to get to everything real simple and easy this way. When you're inside driving this thing, and I'm not tying this down all the way, but you're driving, you can see this black handle that I use to pull this down real easy. You're less than a foot away to the extreme front of this thing. So 
unlike a lot of units, you have no idea how far that is out there. Uh, this makes it real easy to know. I think it's about 10 inches right there. So very nice. Beautiful chrome bumper on this thing. And it's got the latest generation of headlights on it as well. Okay. Some nice things I want to show you inside. Before we go in, one of the things I love about the 4061 floor plan is it's a triple slide, but it's really tuned for a two-person application. You'll see why. That's not to say that you can't turn the dinette into a bed, because you can, um, but it's really meant for two people. It's pure luxury for that couple going out and seeing the country. So let's see what it looks like in here. Obviously I have the slides open right now. So you can see there's a lot of space in here with those opposing slides. This is a great bedroom area back here. So first thing, this does have the upgraded mattress. This is the uh, Sleep Number Premium. So dual adjustable controls on there. Very, very comfortable. King size, standard king size. Hey, if you hate the bed, that's fine. You can put any mattress in you want uh, because it's already set up for the right size at 70 by 80. Okay, so overhead storage up above over there. And what you can't see right now is when you're laying in bed looking at the bottom of that cabinet with your head flat, there's switches under there for all of the lighting inside here. So very easy access there. We do have USB and AC plugins on both sides of the bed. And then looking in the closet right there, you can see that has the built-in safe. That cushion on the bottom there is if the dinette were to be converted into a bed. So you don't have to bring that with you unless you're gonna need it. And down below, there's five drawers down there, a sixth one over here, which is a little larger, in addition to the dresser that's straight across from the bed, another six drawers over here. So 12 drawers in the bedroom right here. And they're nice size. These also have the soft close feature. You can try to slam them, but you won't succeed. And then your laundry center is back here. So separate units, these are the Splendid washer dryer comp, uh, setup. So having separate units gets things done a lot faster. Not just the fact that you can wash and dry at the same time, but also this dryer uh, is going to work much faster than a combo unit, about four times faster. It's a huge difference right there. So over here, we've got component accessibility. Um, this does have the WineGuard Traveler on it right now. It's a stationary satellite setup. Um, so you, you will have a receiver up in the front. And if you want to watch satellite back here, very easy to add another receiver back here. So you can see what's going on. Watch all your favorite channels. Just so nice. I wish you could feel this. You know, the, the ozite lining that they use inside here is a little bit softer material than what we find in the compartments outside. But again, the same mildew resistance right there. Just a very fresh, clean look to it. Some of these units will have an egress door for escape. This one, because of its floor plan, does not have that, but it does have ex uh, escape window right here. So, very nice. Now, working our way up here, there's a few things. Imagine our slides are in. This over here is a full wall slide down the driver's side. So that entire side moves in 18 inches. The bed over there where you are also moves in. So those come together in the bedroom. But when this 18 inches comes in over here, we've only got about this much space. So what Numar did was they built this special cantilever door style hinge so that you can walk past the bedroom 
and then still get into the bathroom while you're in transit. So speaking of bathroom, I haven't taken that close a look at this one yet, but I will tell you there's some things I like here. So medicine cabinet dead ahead, and then uh, linen closet to the right. It's got the solid surface countertops. It's got three storage areas. Actually, looks like two drawers and a storage area underneath the sink right there. It's got a nice, believe that's a 40 by 32 shower. And that one does have the flip down seat in there. You got the high speed attic fan up on the ceiling. And then down below, this has the Dometic electric toilet. So electric flush, just a push button on the wall. Uh, very, very nice, very luxurious. Okay, coming into the galley here, we've got the combo convection microwave. Oh, let me, let me go this direction because I forgot to mention the Whirlpool fridge. So you have a residential fridge in this thing. And one of the reasons is because you may have noticed I never showed you an LP tank. This is an all electric coach. And that's very trendy nowadays. That's the way a lot of people are going. Uh, they don't want to carry propane on board. And that's fine. This is designed to be used 100% of the time on electric very easily. So over here, we've got a huge double door fridge. Unlike an RV refrigerator, there's no fins in the back right here taking up a third of your space. And then very nice size freezer down below, ice maker built in, and then you've got uh, water in the door. Working our way up this way, um, Newmar has built a cutting board into the back side of the cover for the stovetop. One thing about the induction cooktop here, when you see the little cutouts on the sides where actually your fingers could get in there, that's because this is removable. It can go outside and plug in out there. Um, remember we talked about there's a few plug-ins out there, so different places you can put that. So nice flexibility there. And of course, like I mentioned, the cutting boards, if you choose to use it that direction. All right. Large drawer underneath the cooktop over here. Same soft closed drawers. Uh, good pots and pan storage on this. Actually, a lot of storage on this. Everywhere you look, it's there. So great setup there. Combination convection microwave. Not just a microwave, this is your oven. So very roomy inside. You can put some big items in there. You can also cook on convection and microwave at the same time. Essentially cooking whatever you have in there in half the amount of time because you're cooking from the outside in and the inside out simultaneously. Great storage up above right here because it's got a lot of space back there. Glasses, plates, so on and so forth. Data plate over here is going to give us the weights on this unit. Dry weight, GVWR, GCWR, and carrying capacity. All right. A lot more space down below. I'm pointing this out because some of you look at this and you say, well, this really isn't a very big galley area right here. But they've utilized the space so well with so much storage, it doesn't have to be three feet longer like some of them. More space for those two people to enjoy all the surroundings right here. Such as the very big, beautiful uh, recliners that are in this thing. And then your center console over here also in a solid surface. Cup holders built in between the seats over here. Lighting switches very close by. And then more overhead storage. 
So there's no big open spaces in this thing. There's overhead storage everywhere there's overhead. Uh, you may have seen some units where that window is so big it goes up much higher. Well, you really don't need the window view as much as you do the storage space. So that's another reason I like the design on this. This dinette over here does in fact turn into a bed. Uh, that table will drop down. You saw the cushion in the closet. This is gonna make a fairly short bed. So grandma and grandpa can bring grandkid one or two and have a designated bed. But because you've got opposing slides here, you've got a huge floor space. So those rare times when you are gonna have guests staying, a lot of people will put down a big air mattress right here, problem solved. Okay, lots of sleeping that way. The entertainment center inside here um, has a very large television with the Bose uh, sound bar down below there. This is the other compartment where your components will go. So if you add satellite to this thing, that's if you're going to utilize the satellite on this thing, then you're going to have the um, receiver up here for this TV and the outside TV, and then you're going to have the receiver in the back for the bedroom. All right. All the books on everything, not only what I spoke of today, uh, but some more things. So you can always reference that very easily uh, for anything that's in here. Up in the front right here. So I'm six feet tall and I make it by a long shot right here. This is an 83 inch ceiling. So lots of space, very easy to get in and out. We've got a single level floor on this all the way up to this point right here. So very easy to get in here and then your seats will swivel around and face this way if you need more seating for guests during the day. This is a power shade that closes off the front window up here. Right now I can feel a little heat coming through there. Not a lot, but you wanna close this thing up, run those air conditioners, keep this cooler, then very easy to do, push of a button. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the dash on this. As I sit down, you'll see I sink a little bit there and I can raise myself up and have my air ride seat right there. I think I put a little too much in there. Okay, I talked about the 25 in, or 2,500 square inch windshield on this. So it's terrific. I can see so well all the way around and again on down the road. That coupled with my extreme towing capacity is probably why more people are looking for super seas nowadays. So this Freightliner chassis right here with that 350 Cummins, six speed Allison transmission, thousand foot pounds of torque, moves really nicely, very, very nicely. Pretty standard on our uh, setup over here. We do have cruise control, uh, speed control at the top, um, and then uh, turning it on and off from down below there. Um, you've got your marker lights, thanking the guy for letting you in or vice versa. Um, you've got a differential lock right here for those slippery situations. And then we've got our electric door locks, heated mirrors. Um, these are compartment door locks, which is also in the panel above the entry door. I'm going to show you that last. Um, and then we can lower the rear end on this vehicle here by pushing that, take the air out of the back. Um, we've got you know, our light testing, our camera. This is the power shade up above. Um, we can, uh, oh, we've also got our USB ports up here. And important to say, these are 2.1s. Um, as many of you know, the 2.1 is a big deal because you can charge tablets with that. Uh, tablets don't like the, the one amp charges. Um, we've got a chance to clean off our particulate filter over here. We can boost from our house batteries to start the chassis in case that battery's gotten low. We can start and stop our generator from up here. 
And then we can turn on those docking lights at night when we're getting set up in a campground somewhere. Those LED lights are really nice, flood the area really well. Even after the slides are out, you can see outside very, very well. So pretty standard controls there. We do have the Rand McNally um, navigation built in on this already. So very easy to access that and it's upgradable. All right. So those same seat controls that I showed you over here with the driver's door open are on the passenger seat right down here. Just couldn't see them from the passenger door, so we kind of skipped by that. But both driver and passenger have that ability. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is over here at the entryway, when you first come into this unit right here, this is kind of what I would call command central. So things you can do from up here all in one nice location. First thing is, if you look down, um, it would be easy for me to kind of fall into this area right here. So Numar has a power step cover also in the solid surface material. And now I can put my 250 pounds out here and it holds me just fine. So. Let's look at what we've got up here. Uh, this is very simple. It just boosts the local antenna uh, up on top. It's a digital antenna. And then you've got your power management system over here. So this is a nice setup because this will allow you to uh, keep track of what your power is doing via the inverter, shore power. You can see what the draw is on that. You can test your battery levels. Over here, the power control system uh, this right here is also going to uh, tell you about any errors that are in the unit right now, um, the line status, and what the air conditioning is doing, uh, whether or not the block heater was left on. Uh, your water heater has two positions on it, so if you want to heat that up on electricity faster, you can do it with heat number two. And of course, what your inverter is doing. Over here, this is handling the Oasis system. So the Oasis system has that diesel fired burner and you can run it on AC power one or two. That'll show up where we just looked over here. Uh, most people will go with the burner because it's much faster to heat up that area. But if you just arrived at the campground and you were on that drive for whatever, 50 miles, 100 miles or more, that Oasis system is already warm. So you may turn this on, it's not going to fire off that diesel fired burner because it hasn't cooled down yet. So again, I love the feature that it's got those heater hoses coming off the engine going back to the Oasis. That's already warm when you get here. Or if you want comfort heating inside the unit while you're traveling, you can certainly do that without having to run anything else. So very nice. Free energy, uh, slide control switches. This is our computerized leveling system for the HWH hydraulic unit that I showed you outside over there. If this ever needs to be reset, you would hold this button down for five seconds and basically start over. I showed you the step cover. Uh, we also have compartment door locks from up here. I showed you the one up in the front and you can also operate that with the keyless entry as we came in the door. So set your own code over there. And locking your entry door electrically right here. And then I told you about the engine block heater. So in that really, really cold weather, um, we know diesels, you know, they can be a little finicky and not want to start very easily. But if you enable your engine block heater to warm that up for an hour minimum ahead of time, it's going to fire right up and it's going to just be so much nicer to get that thing going. All right, 2020 Numar Superstar 4061. This is a great rig, great rig. Uh, if, you, if you need to sleep eight people, it's probably not the one for you. But if you're looking to have pure luxury and like I say, not have to pot, pay the price of new, then this is a great alternative for you. This is going to do everything you want it to do. 
And I really feel good in here. I wish I was camping right now. So once again, Bill Hurtado, Transwest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I think my number is probably right there. Please send me a call, send me a text, bill.hurtado at transwest.com. I'll answer my emails. I check them 25 times a day and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching.